I'm Dr. Marianne Sintron, founder of Step-by-Step -Step Dyslexia Solutions. If what I share with you inspires you, please tell other people about my podcast and my videos, and I'm gonna give you more teaching tips. So today we're gonna to wrap up the bossy R words, controlled R, and how do you teach E-A-R says er, and W-O-R says er. So in my previous training tips, I encourage you to teach AR first, AR says R, then teach OR, OR says OR, then teach ER, ER says ER. Then you're gonna be teaching IR says ER, UR says ER, and now we're gonna teach EAR says ER and WOR says ER. So remember that each lesson's gonna have a teaching day and a review. So that could also be a teaching day of one syllable, a teaching day of two syllables with review of the one syllable, and then a third day of a review with both. As you progress through the different R-controlled vowels, you can bring in previously taught lessons just to build the student's working memory and retrieval. So in teaching ER and E-A-R and W-O-R. I actually taught them today together for both my second grader and my fourth grade student because there's very few words with those, with those phonemes. And I'm also building on prior lessons. So the lesson I ended with the other week was you are. So when I'm introducing E-A-R and W-O-R, I have a trace copy cover close for each. And as you've learned in previous teaching tips, you highlight the sounds you're introducing, the student traces it, copies it, and closes this while they write it on their own. And you have to be sure they say it while they write it. That's working the different parts of the brain. Then they turn it over, which we call close. They close their eyes and they write the word, they write the sounds as they they say them and write them. So that's um, one of the tips. The other tip is I wrap it up with a graphic organizer. I actually used a graphic organizer when I finished UR. So it was really fun because, oh my gosh, there's so many sounds for the bossy R's. So you can do this on your PowerPoint page or just create two circles divide them into three here. And I divided it into um, thirds, but then I split this one up in half as well. So I put my IR, my UR, IR, ER words, underline the R control vowel, and then have the student write the words. This precedes a spelling test, okay? And then when we covered, um, and then OR and AR, I just put on the bottom because it was review. So OR in the OR words, AR in the AR words. And then the culminating exercise towards the very end, I had them pull this out again. Now we're gonna add WOR says ER, EAR says ER. And they put those words in there, so fun. The other thing I wanna share is you can have the students draw pictures for some of the words that they struggled with. And I'll show you what we did. I'm not the greatest artist, but so for the E-A-R, earn, I put a dollar sign. Early, uh, the sun, sunrise, earth, draw the little, draw on earth. And that's the E-R sound. And then for W-O-R says er, we have worm, world, works, which was for workout. I put a weight and then worry. And then it was really cute. You know, the kids know how their parents worry. So they draw a little worry face. And then um, the only other tip I wanna give you, when you get into these sentences that have all these confusing bossy R words, it's okay to have the student draw a dash for each word when you read a sentence. So for example, I'll have a sentence, don't worry about dinner. 
And I'll tell the student, just draw a dash for every word you hear. Don't worry about dinner. There's only four, uh, four words there, or four, <laughs> four words there. So then I'll say, write worry where it belongs. And they'll put it on the second line. Then I'll have another sentence. The worms in the dirt came out early. Okay, or you could say come, came out in the rain if you've taught the AI sound. The worms in the dirt came out early. Eight words, so that's gonna have eight lines. Where would you write worms? And they'll write worms. Where would you write early? And they'll write early. So that's just a tip. I do still give a spelling test where I have the students write the words, but I have them read them on my computer. I've uploaded them and so they read on the computer. And that's where I use music. Whenever they're reading, they can use music in their left ear. And then I'll have them do the dashes, but I'll also pick out some short sentences that they can write. So um, one of the fun sentences we use is, her first nurse works early. And it's really fun because I went ahead and highlighted that in my graphic organizer. All those are the words for her first nurse works early. So I hope this has helped you. I hope this has helped you. And if so, please subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube and uh, email me any questions you might have. And I hope you're enjoying tutoring as much as I am. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye now.